Hey Sangarshanan, you are up next. Yes. Uh, hello everyone. I'm Jish Shemesh. Cool. Awesome. I hope people can hear me and look at my slides. I'm going to start. Oh my god. <laughs> Just give me a that took some time so yeah, I'm gonna begin uh, hey everyone this is gonna be a real quick talk I'm gonna introduce guys introduce you guys to a package called Jacid that I developed uh, during my free time I guess so yeah let, let's begin so it was a lazy weekend and I was sitting on my desk almost exactly like this guy right there and you know waiting for my script to run it was taking too long so I decided to hop onto the shower and you know let that script run and as it happens, when you shower, your mind goes to places and you have weird thoughts. Like, if you should submit a lightning talk about lightnings, or maybe if you should have a thunder talk after lightnings. Uh, you know, the point is, brain is weird. So, I, I thought maybe my script could, you know, signal me a status uh, with music. Uh, if maybe it's running, or if it's completed, or maybe if it errors out, you know, it could, you know, play some music to I I indicate that that happened. So kind of like background scores for scripts and I was like, you know, this is the weekend plan for me and I'm going to do it now. I did build it, but that was two weeks later. So open source can, uh, but how to do this uh, with Python scripts, it was, you know, quite straightforward. You know, I just uh, start a daemon thread or a process in the background uh, that plays music and, you know, alter its state when needed, uh, which means kill it when the job is done, you know, pause it and assume it uh, I Im Im like I implemented this in Python uh, using decorators because uh, you know that bad boy can fit so many functions uh, so here's the code uh, so you just do pip install jazzit to install it in your system uh, and then you just uh, have you just import painting track and then you can use that as a decorator in your function and then pass it an mp3 file uh, which uh, so when this when the script runs it's going to play this file in the background uh, there are also other decorators like uh, when your script fails or when your script succeeds it can play you know any kind of music uh, for example on error track here it plays of your enthusiasm and on success it plays you know the anime wow soundtrack as the project you know went out issues were opened and some wounds were open too and i mean some blatantly stupid things i didn't care about because it worked in my in my laptop so but uh, the thing is uh, Playing music using Python or any other package is kind of dependent on your operating system. It depends whether you are on Unix or if you are on Windows. Like uh, the the methods and that like the the libraries used vary greatly. So I thought I could you know avoid all of that and maybe implement it with Jupyter uh, and maybe uh, be OS agnostic at the same time. Uh, so if you don't know about how Jupyter plays music, it just uses HTML audio tags to do this uh, and you know, you don't have to wrap your function, you wrap your code in a function because you have Jupyter magic that you can just attach to your cell and you know, have it do anything you want. So this is how a normal Jupyter, uh, a Jupyter audio tag looks like. You just import audio and then you play a track and then the audio element shows up. Uh, where you can you know control your audio like pause play increase music you can download it and stuff like that so now i need to make the audio tag invisible to the users because i, I don't want that ugly audio tag to be visible uh, and also i wanted to I, I want to control it even though it's invisible uh, and i want to do it all you know programmatically so to do that i kind of write my own version of ipython audio which is like overloading on top of the existing audio so i just change the html element which renders on your uh, on your no, no, on your notebook so what i do is i just replace the display as none so you don't get anything and also i add a control variable called loop so that i can also set a pa parameter if you want to you know keep loo looping my music over and over again so now that we are we have a custom audio tag, I implemented a very basic player uh, which can play and pause music. 
So to play music, I just initialize uh, the class. I create an object and I'm just returning it out uh, with a display ID. Uh, it can be a UUID for here. I'm just giving it one, two, three, just for the sake of it. And also there is a, a stop music method, which is not exactly a method. It's kind of a destructor uh, because it just uh, 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 updates the display to an empty string so that you know uh, the music stops playing. So now. Uh, once this is done you can instantiate the player to start the music and stop the music and it's all non-blocking and you know have us in the background uh, so like just a quick in a quick uh, thing I, I just want to show my repository where uh, all of this is written uh, so there's also a collab notebook you can open it out uh, so with Jupyter notebooks you can just have uh, these audio tag, these magic elements you can attach and you just load the magic uh, and then you just add it to your cell and then when you run it it's going to play the track I don't want to play it right now because uh, I tried it once and it was really loud so I don't want to you know affect anyone's hearing so I'm like I'm just going to link you to this repository which is uh, github.com slash sangarshnan slash jazzit and you can you know open the notebook and you know give it a try uh, and you know maybe you find it useful or maybe you find it fun uh, yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about it thank you very much